time for what's the numbers this will be number four i am back for the fourth video plant video of 30 days of just plant of just plants and for those of you who are just now watching this for the very first time thank you first off thank you for stopping by second off what, what i'm doing is a 30-day series on plants in my house i'm not buying anything new just plants that i have had and I have personal experience with over the last few years. And I'm just coming to you and we're just doing a little chit chat about them. I'm telling you the very basics about them, whether they're easy, hard, light conditions that you need about them. And I hope, oops, sorry. And I hope these you find these videos helpful in your plant journey because I know I would have found them very helpful in mine. <laughs> so um, these videos are really gonna be short. They won't go past 15 minutes. Um, but that doesn't mean you don't get the other side of me video. So it's just coming up soon in the next, in the next couple of days, there will be a plant with me video. So if you have newly subscribed to my channel and what I want to see on a regular basis, come check that out. Those videos are a lot longer and I just do a lot of chit chatting and talking. Now remember the name of this channel is Latanya, planting and drinking. So I'm coming to you guys with a drink. It's a beer. But y'all, look, real quick, I'm going to keep this under 30 seconds. I'm going to try to. Corona in a can. Where the hell have I been? Where the hell have I been? Because, you know, people telling me this been out. I personally have never drink, drunk, have drunk in a Corona out of a can before. Always done it in a bottle. But today, you know, and I'm doing it with a little lime and salt. But we just going to see. Just going to take this straight out of the can. Picked it up at Walmart. Let's see what it tastes like. Still needs to lime to me, but it's good. That's cold. Mm. But good. Okay. So that was new to me. So, okay. So now let's get on with the plant we're talking about today. So today we are talking about Anthurium. We are talking about Anthurium. And, and this is um, commonly also known as the Flamingo Lily. Um, this is a, well, okay, this is not an easy plant. This is not, N-O-T, not a plant for beginners. It's like if you have never been introduced to the plant world before, do not start off with this plant. Now, with that being said, this is not an incredible hard plant either. Um, this plant requires, um, put this one down because it's heavy. I have another one here. Um, that plant requires um, just a little bit more attention. I currently have two of them. I have owned a total of four. I have killed um, the last two that I've owned prior to these two. And these two are under very different circumstances. Okay, so, but because... I know how bad I am with anthuriums, and I am pretty bad with, I was pretty bad with them. Um, I, but I found them to be very beautiful plants because they have this beautiful, look at that. Let's look at that leaf pattern there. That green leaf is just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. So um, real quick, I'm gonna give you some care tips, but right off the bat, y'all know I have pets, okay? Um, these, these plants even be especially now that I have a puppy these plants do not stay on the floor they're very poisonous to your pets cats and dogs very poisonous and will cause significant problems for them if digest from anywhere from um, vomiting um, to oral pain so keep you want to keep this away from your puppies these both of these plants only only have two now they stay in this room and pepper is never allowed in this room without being supervised so and even then, they're on a high shelf. Now, is it rare? No, the flamingo lily, um, you can get anywhere. Oh, I didn't say the Latin name. Oh, okay, let's try it. The Anthurium andrani Andrea Anum. That's the best I can do. But that's the Latin name for this plant. But um, I really like calling it the flamingo lily. Um, but yeah, so this is um, 
a common plant. You'll find it in big box stores and you'll find them all throughout the year, but you'll find a lot of them usually in the spring. Heavy in the springtime. I haven't seen a lot of them throughout the summer at my local Lowe's or Home Depot, or and I've never seen them at my Walmarts. And I've, I've been to a few, but you will see these like really heavy in spring. And um, so yeah, I will recommend this plant to you. Now, if you've watched my show for, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I have personally made videos about this plant, about the struggles that I have had with this plant, to the point where I have taken this plant and placed it in pumice stones. This plant is actually in pumice stones. It does not have any soil in it. It is planted in pumice stones. I took this plant. It was down to four leaves. This particular plant was down to four leaves. I had stumbled across a video on YouTube and found um, to try it in pumice stones. And I said, since it was dying anyway, and it was down to four leaves, then that's what I was going to do with it. Just straight up put it in the pumice stone. And it has done really well. Okay, first of all, look at all, do um, you see those two new leaves are coming up? But let me move this one out of the way real quick. And we'll talk about that one in a second. But you can see that it's giving me a whole bunch of new life is forming down there. Um, it has been slow going with this plant, even in pumice stones. One of the reasons was I had to figure out the water ratio, how much water to give it and put it in here. Because what the pumice stones do is they will actually absorb the water and send it out of the plant as needed. And they each stone will hold about 33% of the amount of water that you pour in here. It can't hold any more than that. So I had to figure out that ratio. Once I figured out the a correct amount, which is just fill it up to about right there. Now that you know, like it, it does fine. And now, I don't know if you're gonna pick it up on camera, but you can now you start seeing the root system is starting to develop outside of the pumice stones which is a really good sign according to the Swedish partners. I think that's the name of the guys who are video YouTubers that I saw this video on. And that is something that you do want to happen over time. And this plant is supposed to flourish in pumice stones. So yay to the pumice stones. Now, does that mean you need to rush out there and get yourself some pumice stones? No, it does not. Because I didn't. <laughs> I picked this one up. At Lowe's, I think I still have the sticker on it, for $5. And uh, on clearance for $5. And this was in really bad shape when I have got it. I've owned this for about five months. Five months. And um, leaves have turned brown and have fallen off. Um, and because even the best intentional person will neglect their plant. This plant was in really bad shape, but I thought it was really reasonable for $5. The difference between the last ownerships and this one is now I decided not to do more research but just to say hey don't repot it don't don't repot it right away just leave it in here just leave it alone so and and you should do the same when you get an ethereum or a flamingo lily in your home you should leave it in this container these containers most plants especially when you buy from the big box stores they come from um, the nursery to them and they're very really newly into their containers these things do um, this particular plant does not have to be repotted it can stay in this pot for up to two years and repotting it too soon will result in a loss of the plant so if you've done what I've done in the past because I've done it I have repotted this and then they die shortly that's why that's why they like to be left alone in their container they like to be a little root bound this plant needs high bright light lots it just needs to be in a, in, a, in a big bright room my two plants stay up here in this diva room this is the east facing window so it gets tons and tons of morning light both of them do it gets those for several hours throughout the day and and it does really well for both of them now the difference between the one in the pumice stone and this is that this one has recently gotten in bloom. So these blooms are new. They haven't even opened up yet and very new to me. And it's because um, the only reason why it's doing this is because I really don't mess with it. I put it in a bright room. 
I um, place some sphagnum moss around it because that's another thing. This requires high humidity, high humidity. And um, I do have a humidifier in here, um, but instead of running the, I just wanted to try it with the sphagnum moss and the sphagnum moss just seems to do, to do enough. You know, basically you just keep the, um, keep because what you want to keep the humidity on isn't necessarily the leaves as much as it is for the roots. That's what likes to be humid. So I'll just leave this on here. I'll let it dry out and then I'll re-wet it again. That's it. Whenever it dries out, I don't keep it moist. In my experience, I just let this back. I wet it for the first time today when I watered it. I will let it dry out and it's really a forget it plant. Um, this propagating this plant, um, you can propagate this plant from the stems. So this is actually two plants in this container versus, okay, so you have two plants in this container and you can actually split them, split them apart and it will grow more pups. This one, same thing, except this is still one mother plants and all the pups are too small to propagate from. So I would not pull from these. These would have to get a little bit larger. A YouTuber who I stumbled across is named Fifi, F-I-F-I. -F -I. Um, and she is has done a couple of videos. She has an amazing anthurium. The, it is like both of these. It's like three times the size of both of these put together. Um, I don't know where she lives at, um, but she does an amazing job with it. And she propagates hers and hers spit out babies all the time. So you might want to check her out on YouTube if you want more detailed information. I'm just bringing you my experience with them. And I would classify this as a medium plant. So not for a beginner, not for a beginner, unless you're just up for a little bit of a challenge. And what makes it a medium plant is the fact that this plant will die on you. If you overwater it, it will die on you. And it is very easy to overwater a plant when you first get it, especially when you are new to the plant world. It is not as forgiving as other plants are, ones that we have mentioned in the previous video. So I would say it's not, um, it's not forgiven enough. Is it, it's also not forgiven enough if you, if you let it dry out for too long. Because it does, re I would say you want to, can let it dry, completely dry out, but you don't want to go too long. Like with this plant, you need to put this plant on the schedule. You need to know, or this plant puts you on the schedule. You need to know once a week, you need to be in here watering this plant. That's how I feel about anthurium. So that's my experience with the um, flamingo lily. Um, so to recap, um, bright light needs to be in a bright light room. Um, it needs to be high in humidity for the sake of the roots. Um, you can propagate it by pulling off pups from the stem. It is poisonous, very poisonous to your house plants, um, to your house pets, so you should keep them away from cats and dogs. Um, common, yes, you will find this in big box stores. You will see them in the spring and in the winter time. Um, this one is common. The, that blooms the red flower. This also blooms in pink and white, I believe, and those are uncommon. I've never seen them in a store uh, where I live. That don't mean they ain't out there. Just where I live, they're not here. So, but I'm sure you can pick these up online. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, yeah, these plants are beautiful. It is beautiful. Should you not get one? Um, if you've been out here and you have plants in your home and you've like, let's say you've had a pothos for a while, then yes, it's time for you to step up to the next level. You can handle this. You, if you have a fondness for plants, you can handle this. If you want to gift this to someone, I would just say, know if they're into plants. Because if you give someone something, they're just going to end up killing that. Well, that's it. That's the video. Um, if you enjoy watching this, please come back. Please subscribe if this is your first time stopping by. And also, you can follow me on Instagram. And I'll be back next time with the Peace Lily. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time on more. <laughs> Let me get it together. Planting and drinking.